Hey, the Smurfs got a sequel. What do you know? Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rue 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about a brand new benchmark. It's the Smurfs 2, whatever the heck its title is called, for the PC. I really can't remember. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the NVIDIA GDX 970 4GB VRAM graphics card. I'm running with 32GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and I am playing at the highest preset, cinematic at 1080p. Whatever that is, it's it's cinematic. 1080p. Good. I'm actually leaving the vertical sync. My monitor refresh at 75 until I get into the actual jungle area. I'm not sure if this game actually can hit over 75 at cinematic, so we'll find out first. And then I may turn it off. Depends. You definitely need proper more than 2 gigabytes of VRAM to run this game properly. I tried with the 960 and it did struggle and stutter a lot. Here I am with the 970 and there are no frame drops. I was getting frame drops here. And it's using 2.5 right now, so it definitely shows that you need more than 2 gigs of VRAM to run this. Go figure. On this game, apparently it is somewhat demanding. That's very surprising to me, man. Sometimes these games, man, so it's very surprising because, like, th there's not much, but it okay. it's still so a intensive. With a hammer should be enough. I didn't know me saying the GDS 970 is how old, Javon, but come on. I mean, look at this game. It ain't, it ain't that, bro. I remember testing. The thing about it is, I remember testing the first game as well. I definitely do. Despicable little blue farming. You and it didn't run well. I feel like this is more optimized if I'm being honest. And obviously this is way bigger. Like this looks way better. In terms of like they went there's way more scale here. You can tell they got a bigger budget for this one and they were like, hey, let's do this. Which I'm all there. for. Okay, so we're out into the And not a word to the others. Gargamel might hear me. Hello? Stop. Oh my gosh, this is actually managing to hold. Loud and smurf. The this is actually quite interesting. Perfectly. Oh, so what was going through the smurf tastic? I'll call you if I. I'm shocked that this is running so. Okay, no, okay, okay. Now that's better. That's better. You see, now I was wondering about that. I was there like, there's no way. There's no way that this runs so well. My GPU is almost completely pegged if you're looking at it properly. It's hitting in the 80s at times. That is a problem. <laughs> that is a. Okay. I was gonna be like, should I have done 1440p here? Because that doesn't, I can't do hey, max. There's that? no way this could handle max. So I think the 75 is pretty accurate. Hey. You'll probably be getting like 80. I'm not even gonna turn off VSync, dude. I'm not, I'm not, because it's even dipping below at times. But at points, I think that's because of the game. But then I realized it's not because I tested with the V again and it ran fine. If, oh, any frame drops. So it's, it's definitely the game running into, you know, a bottleneck a bit, the GPU at times. Some areas are more demanding than others. It's that simple. I'm exposed here. I have to get out. Damn. Ugh, I should be able to heal myself with that flower. Sometimes I, I don't even recommend running these games at these certain settings, like cinematic and stuff. It looks it doesn't even look any different. Sometimes I can't even, so I legitimately cannot tell the difference with some of these games. I'm like, what, what looks different here? I don't, I don't get it. But regardless, for the, Hello, just the for the sake of the video, kind of we'll do cinematic. And because it runs at it, max, crystals. there's no point in going like lower because it, it runs at this, it no, runs at, really. it, it maxes They're out. They're the same color, but much bigger. They have these black spots at the bottom too. The 960 was stuttering way worse though. And I think I had to drop them to medium because the VRAM issue. At least you can run it with less than 4 gigs of VRAM. That'd be ridiculous if the Smurfs game, bro, used more than 4 gigs of VRAM. Because this won't even look like anything. Like. Honestly, I'm shocked they used more than 2. But it's 2023. What you gonna do? But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more big content. For those of you who sat down and actually watched this video, I salute you. You know, sometimes I just do some of these the videos because, seems to because react to this. it's a Perhaps new game. And it's like, I'm curious to see how it runs and everything, but... You know, I know that every game doesn't appeal to everyone. This definitely shouldn't appeal to a lot of my audience, I don't believe. But, you know, if you do like Smurf, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this game. What do you think about this? I think it runs, it runs fine. But what do you think about it in general? 
I have played a bit of it actually. Um, not as story driven as I would like it to be, so it doesn't really help me out. But three point that VRAM is getting up there. I I'm actually starting to get a bit worried. I don't know who you are, but you look dangerous. Let's see what you're made of. Like legit, watching that, watching my VRAM go up to three point four, it's like what what's happening here? Am I crazy? Am I the crazy one? Why is my VRAM so high? Anyway, I'm just gonna mute myself now once again. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. A new flower. Wait. 